Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about nine Samsung Galaxy settings you should turn off now. These settings are going to help you save battery life and protect your privacy. And the first one is to turn off install unknown apps. This setting allows apps on your phone to install other apps without your consent. It's not a good idea. Especially if you like a really sketchy third party app which would then install more sketch sketchy sketchy. it's like a pyramid scheme That's of those bad apps exactly yeah so i got the samsung galaxy s20 here i'm going to swipe down to the upper right hand corner of the screen and that little gear icon just tap on that and now you are in the settings app pretty cool yeah so this is in biometrics and security scroll down to install unknown apps and here you'll see a list of your apps you want these to say not allowed and as you can see right here, messages says allowed. So I'll just tap on messages and turn off the switch next to allow from this source. Next, we're gonna choose which apps are allowed to use data to download content in the background of your Galaxy phone. So let's go back to the main page of settings and we're gonna to go to apps. Here, once again, you will see a list of your apps. So just go ahead and tap on one. I'll do Bixby Vision, I guess. And then tap on mobile data. And here you go, allow background data usage. Do you want this app to be able to use your cellular data in the background of your Samsung Galaxy? Sometimes the answer is gonna be yes. Yep. Other times it's gonna be no. You have to make that decision for yourself. Right, so it's gonna be no for most apps, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be yes for apps where you need to get updates when you're not using your phone. So like messages apps, Facebook, social media maybe, if you wanna get these updates, it's sort of similar to notifications. Mm -hmm but this is actually downloading content, which can be a lot more data heavy than notifications are. Yep, so you wanna turn it off for an app, just tap that switch next to allow background data usage. The next thing we're gonna talk about is similar, is allowing apps to run in the background of your Android. And a lot of time you don't want this to happen either, that'll drain your battery when you're not using the apps and you don't want all your apps running in the background all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. So we're just gonna go back one screen here and tap on battery and allow background activity. That's the setting. If you don't want this app to be running in the background of your Samsung Galaxy all the time, tap that switch, turn it off. You have to do this for all your apps. So it may, you know, a little bit of a longer process, but this is just one example. Next, we're going to turn off usage and diagnostic information, which is going to stop your phone from sending that type of data to Samsung or app developers in the background when you're not using your phone. You can save data, save battery life. Yep, so let's go back to the main page of settings. A lot of tabs here and we're going to tap on privacy. And here it is, send diagnostic data. That switch is currently turned on. Turn it off. Right. Next, we're gonna talk about turning off ad personalization. Maybe you've seen The Social Dilemma on Netflix. If you haven't, it's an excellent watch. It talks about how companies track you, how they use your personal information to sell you, you are the product, and they, they make money off of us. Yeah. These services aren't free they're selling us. So you can protect yourself a little bit if you change a simple setting. Yeah, this is one of the ones you need to turn on to turn it off. Right. Uh, so we're gonna scroll down to ads in privacy and we're gonna turn on the switch next to opt out of ads personalization. Yep, you will still see ads, but they will not be based on your interests. And the truth behind this is you may still see as many ads, but you may see fewer ads. Mm -hmm. Because what this is gonna do is it's gonna make you less interesting mm -hmm. to advertisers. Every time you see ads, not to get you deep into this, but an auction runs and they auction you off. If they don't know that much about you. Undesirable. Nobody, yeah, yep. And, and sometimes there just won't be an ad. Nobody will pay for it. So yeah. we basically wanna make ourselves as bland as possible. Yeah, we wanna make ourselves worthless. So we're just gonna tap that okay button there. Come on, there it goes. And now opt out of ads, personalization is on. The next setting we're gonna turn off is improve location accuracy. And this is a great battery saving tip. How do we do it? Yeah, so let's go back to the main page of settings and tap on location. Improve accuracy, use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for more accurate location detection. It doesn't need to be so super accurate. No, nope. I, don't, I don't feel that way anyway. And just turn off the switches next to Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning. If it's constantly scanning to improve your location, it's gonna drain battery faster. Right. Simple as that. I suppose if you had an app and it wasn't close enough, you could turn these back on, but these probably should be off by default. Mm -hmm. Of course they're not. Mm -hmm. You know, it would make sense if they were. 
Yep, the next thing we're gonna turn off is Google location tracking. This is kind of like significant locations on iPhone where it yep. just makes a list of all these places you visit often and it you know might improve your experience if you you know take a lot of bunch of photos on a family vacation maybe and it kind of tags the location, but it's a battery drainer. It's a little weird. Uh, I you know. Yeah, it's a it's kind of a weird thing. Yeah. People can see everywhere you've and been. I, I don't want Google your phone. I don't want Google having that information. So let's go back one page. We're on location settings and we're going to tap on Google location history. So pull up your Google account and there's the switch location history is on. Turn that switch off, pause location history and there's a little information there and just tap pause. Next, we're gonna turn off unnecessary app permissions. Let's head to that menu because it's easier to explain if you yeah. look at it. So we'll go back to the main page of settings and tap on privacy. Permission manager, right at the top, tap on that. Perfect, so this breaks down the different categories of permissions that your phone has, like camera, which apps can use the camera, which apps can access the phone or the microphone. And it's a good idea to just go through these individual settings and make sure that there aren't any sketchy apps or apps that you don't think should have access to your microphone, for yeah. instance. Microphone and camera seem to be the two big ones. Step yep. on microphone. Uh, right now, camera, duo, Facebook, messages, and Samsung capture. If you don't want Facebook having access to your microphone, uh, you might just want to tap on that. And yep. Set as a deny. Yep. There you go. Just hit back. Now it's gone. Yep. And real quick, let's also just take a look at camera. Just make sure that's either a big one. AR Zone, Bixby Voice, Camera, Duo, Messages, Phone, Samsung Capture, those all seem pretty reasonable to me. They do, and we haven't actually installed a lot of apps on this phone yet because it's new. Yeah, well, Take a look through your list, it'll yeah, probably be longer. Especially when you install a new app and it asks you for all these permissions and a lot of people just tap, oh, allow, 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 and then all of a sudden they're like, why does this app have access to my microphone? Well, right. You allowed it when you installed it. Right, that's how they get you. The last setting we're gonna talk about is turn off unnecessary location services. This will disable certain apps from the ability to use your GPS, which is gonna save your battery life. Yep. So let's go back to the main page of settings and tap on location. Then tap on app permissions. And here are how your apps are using location. Like right now, Facebook is using my location all the time. Bad. Bad, very bad. Everything using location all the time is bad, basically. Even maps. Yeah. Well, I mean, maps only need to go into wallets in use. Yeah. Let's go in here and uh, tap yeah. on these and... Yeah, let's tap on Facebook and here you go. Location access for this app, allow only while using the app or deny. Right. I'm just gonna deny Facebook access to my location. Right, and let's do maps though and give it the... Uh, maps. Yep, a little bit gentler. Allow while using the app. Let's tap that. If you deny, did I hit the wrong button? If you deny this permission, basic features of your device may no longer function as intended. Just tap deny anyway. Deny anyway. If you have an issue with your maps and you can come back to this video and yell it still us. works. Yeah. yeah, leave a negative comment. Yep. Yeah, those are the nine Android settings that we wanted to tell you about for the yep. Samsung Galaxy. Turn those off immediately. Improve privacy, save battery life. It's gonna make a big difference. A little bit, big difference. Yep. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below and if there are any other settings we should be turning off, let us know. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones. Next, we're going to choose which apps are allowed to use data in the background of your iPhone. It's an Android. <laughs> it's Samsung, it's an Samsung Android. Galaxy. Apps. And then we're going to tap choose app. Tap choose app. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the, the... Oh boy. <laughs>